Dominic was born in Poland and at an early age studied printmaking before attending the School for Artistic Crafts and Design in Warsaw. After emigrating to Canada in 1987, he attended the Ontario College of Art and the Algoma School of Landscape Arts. It was there that Dominic developed his passion to paint the wilderness and in the 90s his travels led him to the Yukon and Alaska where he truly found his inner creative calling. Dominic currently lives in Nanaimo on Vancouver Island and continues to explore the rugged environments of the north on extensive painting journeys. His work can be found in private and corporate collections around the world and he is represented in many galleries throughout Canada, the US and South Africa. His solo exhibition in the concert gallery is called Color and Wonder, Landscapes in Peril. Artistic journey through Canada really takes you into the wilderness and often but very often very remote places. So I'd just love to hear something about your experiences in the remote parts of Canada. I, you know, I was uh, always uh, fascinated uh, with the natural world since I was a child and uh, environmental issues. Uh, and nearly every uh, holidays, uh, summer holidays, winter holidays, we spend in our um, uh, log cabin in, in Poland. And that's where I grew my uh, fascination for the natural world, being in a forest, oh, being outside. Uh, the, ch the, the challenge and the fascination of linking the physical activities with the act of painting, painting plein air, painting outside, are uh, really... Uh, um, mm, I really enjoy that. I'm sure, and uh, obviously with the physical challenges, uh, you obviously are able to live up to that because I want to hear a little bit about your black belt in Yes, I, uh, when I was still in Poland, just before I emigrated in 1987, I made myself a promise. I was always fascinated with martial arts, but I, I was not able to do that in Poland. So I made myself a promise that once I get to uh, Canada, I will start uh, studying uh, karate. So my, uh, my journey uh, in martial art very much uh, helped me with uh, my, my painting because it created a mental and physical discipline to commit myself to a goal. Uh, in martial art this is very important. You have to persevere, you have to be uh, you know, hard on yourself. You can never give up. So the same thing applies to any art. You can never give up if you want to succeed. And you've so. also traveled all over the world, and you always focus on remote areas for your lands, landscape searches. So in South America, uh, you've traveled to Peru, Bolivia, Patagonia, and I remember you saying that uh, you blend your landscapes with indigenous cultures. And I'm looking at one beautiful painting, lovely color there. It's Peru called Children of the Sun. And I'd just like to hear a little bit about your travels in South America. I had the opportunity to travel to Patagonia uh, from Ushuaia uh, after uh, completing my trip into Antarctica. And after that, a few years later, I had the opportunity to travel both to Peru, uh, Chile, and Bolivia on an extensive uh, motorcycle painting trip. And what I'm fascinated, especially in places like Peru and Bolivia, is the existence of uh, many uh, indigenous cultures and civilizations that have been for thousands of years. Sometimes we don't know how many thousands of years. And the blend of the landscape. Everything is so colorful up there, especially the clothing that you actually see in this painting uh, wore, uh, wore by a child uh, at uh, at the Sacred Valley, which is the valley that leads into the Machu Picchu. Uh, it is, I think, also the very unknown, the mystery, the mystique of the, of the cultures, which is, has been gone for, some, for hundreds of years, and we still don't have a very big understanding of really what happened and the type of connection those people had with each other and the natural world. So that ties into me with the title of your show too, with Landscapes in Peril. Yeah, Landscape in Peril, you know, I think what's, hap uh, with, uh, what's happening with, in our environment, I wanted to uh, bring the message of uh, the, na the natural world is in peril. It is in a state of 
danger. And what I do, you know, I, I try to go to the areas which are in danger or can be in danger by either climate change or the mm, uh, industrial activities of uh, human race and record them possibly before they are gone. Uh, so that's uh, very uh, close and dear to my heart. And one of the, th the interesting things that I find fascinating to me, not just in Canada, but in South America, you're moving into these very remote areas by all sorts of different means of travel. You're hiking in, you're cycling, you're kayaking, You've even taken an icebreaker up in the Northwest Passage and uh, helicopters, whatever it is. So that's fascinating. It sounds kind of exotic, but I've got a feeling that there's more to it than just what seems to appear to the eye. Yeah, because in some of those areas, you know, you cannot get by your uh, standard means, right? Uh, so. When I was in the Arctic, I was very for, and also in Antarctica, I was fortunate to be artist in residence on some of those uh, 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 adventure type um, uh, cruises where we only have 100 uh, people on board and you know some helicopters, and so I was able to land in very remote areas. But also in South America, one one of the ways we traveled with my friend Scott Wilson was to travel by motorcycle because that gave us access to very remote and accessible areas, but also it was fun. Right. Well, fun and, and some hardship as well because a lot of your work that you have done in these areas is on plein air. So you're carrying all of your supplies with you. Uh, that adds another degree of difficulty. Uh, it would be easier to take your snapshots, head back to the studio at home and do some painting there, but you like the planner. The challenge of planner is very much uh, real uh, and in different env environments it creates a different uh, challenges and obstacles. So for example, this painting just behind us um, is of Patagonia. And in Patagonia, for example, the, one of the challenges I had to deal with I didn't quite understood till I actually got there, is a constant wind. From about 10.30, 11 o'clock, till about 4.30, 5 o'clock, it blows all the time. And it's such a, it has such a pitch that it's actually starting to irritate your brain. And it's funny, I came with two last paintings from that trip because I nearly completed a painting, I nearly had that really good painting, and then it took off into the Andes. You have something coming up or already on the Shaw TV channel? What we're talking about is changing landscape, uh, landscapes uh, uh, two seasons. Uh, first season is changing landscapes Bolivia and changing landscapes of Vancouver Island. Dominic, thank you so much for being with us today and we're so pleased to have you here uh, in the concert gallery with your exhibition. Thanks for doing this. Well, thank you for the opportunity uh, to, to share my experiences and thank you to the Macmillan Art Center uh, for giving me the chance to show that to the, uh, our local community on Vancouver Island. Thank you. Mm -hmm.